finished cleaning this casting up now. This is the part that holds the brass nut. This slides backwards and forwards in the vice base casting and pushes the moving jaw backwards and forwards. That's how the vice was wobbling backwards and forwards. And that gap you can see underneath, that's how much has been taken off. So I'm going to fix two of these on one on each side. These are T bolts which I'm reducing the heads on the metal shaper. And these are for the cramps which are going to hold the vice on the milling machine. What I'm doing now, I'm putting a drill bit in to bore the hole for the tapered reamer because I'm fixing these two plates on with tapered pins. This is the tapered reamer. This is a tapered pin. I'm just knocking these in lightly now on the milling machine. And once they're all in place, I'm going to lift the vice off and knock them in on the floor with a bigger hammer. I thought I'd put one more at this end. Yeah, there's a bit of an overhang, but uh, I snapped the drill off. So you can just see the hole, and the drill is broken inside there, and it won't come out. Lift this onto the floor now, then I can uh, bray them pins in really hard. I'm trying to fill this hole with weld now. I ain't done any welding for ages. <laughs> As you can tell. But I think this might give me some problems later on. I'm taking the drill chuck out now and putting in a milling cutter.
I'm setting up to flush these two pieces off level to the edge of the vise. It won't be exact because the vise is a casting, so it'll be level in places and other places. It might dig in, it might leave a little bit. I'm just taking a light, slow first cut, just to see what it's like. This is the final cut. This is where the cutter actually skims the part of the casting off the vice in the centre. With it being higher in the middle and the neither end. <laughs> 